Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we are talking about a topic which, uh, well, it's stable, but not always stable. Yeah? It's monostable. We're talking about monoflops. What is a monoflop? If you're losing one of your sandals, then you don't have flip-flops, you have only a monoflop. No, of course not. Maybe it's true also, but we're talking about a digital circuit called monoflop, which is monostable. This is why the name is. Okay, what means monostable? Well, I draw the symbol. Yeah? The symbol looking like this. Yeah? So we have a box. We have an input I. We have an output Q, uh, and inside we have such pulse. This is how this would look like. Yeah? So we have somewhere an input I, and we have somewhere an output Q. What does it mean? So if I draw here I and here Q, and here is logically 1, Here's logically one. And at some point in time, the input changes from zero to one. At this point in time, Q is also changing from zero to one. At exactly this point in time, okay? And after a certain delay time, Here, we would have TQ, the delay time of the element. The element is returning exactly to the state, yeah? to the previous stable state. So one state is not stable, this will disappear itself, yeah? and the other state is stable. And even if we trigger this with a longer pulse at the input, the output here is then again triggered, yeah? trigger point, and the output will stay on exactly this amount, okay, exactly the second time this TQ. So we have one stable condition, in this case it's low, yeah? and we have one not stable condition which will disappear after a certain time, after the delay time of this element. Yeah? Of course there are variants from this, from this monoflop, yeah? so for instance there would be A monoflop with dynamic input. So the, this here is static input. This dynamic input. Hi. And there is a, a difference. Yeah? So if we, for instance, let's make here also I and Q again to show you a, a, a difference. If we have here I, which is triggered at a certain point in time, and then shortly afterwards again triggered. Yeah? Then there are elements out there which will be triggered here. Yeah? And now I draw a different different size of TQ because those, so those elements came with different TQs. Yeah? And here we have TQ. 
starting with the first impulse and every other impulse is is not taken into account yeah? this is not retriggerable yeah? Re retriggerable yeah? not retriggerable and then there are elements out there which are retriggerable I will show you the same with the same I will try to do it exactly the same way so here first impulse zack second impulse and here we are changing to one here is no difference okay. here is no difference and here the second trigger will appear okay. so Previously, we had here this DQ. DQ. And here, DQ starts again. Yeah? A second trigger event. So, we will fall down here. So, it is re-triggered, this element. Yeah? This element is re-triggered. Here actually we also have DQ. Okay. This here is retriggerable. All right. So and for, for better understanding, for better noting, you can even draw in here, you can even write in here the delay down. Okay. Let's make it like this, zack, 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 this is re triggerable and there is, for instance, I don't know, uh, 500 milliseconds. Then this is the time of the not stable phase. This here. Not stable phase. All right. And of course, it's not, it's not only this. We can also have something like that. Then the falling edge. Five seconds, for instance, different element. However, here the falling edge is triggering. Okay, so if we have again here I and again here Q. If we have here tap impulse whoop dropping then the output would change with the falling edge here. And here again we have DQ. Simply the trigger event is somewhere else. All right. Mono, sta mono stable time elements or mono flops. Huh? Those mono stable time elements can be used to produce timing circuits. How such timing circuits are built, uh, we will discover in the next videos. So, next video we will talk about talk about uh, and an on delay okay so we want to delay 
for a certain period of time a signal delay hmm? on delay next video for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye